Hey collectors, Anthony from Hatchesnet here, and today we are going to check out Transformers Legacy Point Blank and Peacemaker. A fan of quiet and relaxation, Point Blank prefers to spend his time reading. He fights only to end his need to fight, as he believes that each fight will lead him closer to retirement. Too bad Cybertronians are nigh immortal. So here we have Point Blank and Peacekeeper, and uh, I really, I dig the look. Uh, that, my understanding is the head is the anime head, or the toy head, and the body is the other, I don't know. But um, before we get into him, uh, we'll quickly look at uh, him and then to the box. So I believe this is Peacemaker. He doesn't look like John Cena, but I guess he's Peacemaker. So he has this little piece that comes out of the gun, and then he folds in half, and voila, a gun. Point blanks the target master. I guess that's all you really need. And, I mean, it's simple enough. It's, it's, it's not as complicated, and when I say complicated, I mean as in many steps as the typical batter, battle masters. So, you know, they included it with the price of the figure. So you take what you get. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the box. It is point blank on the front, point blank on the side, point blank and Peacemaker on the back. Has the uh, transformations, it has the uh, little QR code here if you want to see the bio legacy side here inside the box is cardboard and uh, the instructions and the uh, don't hurt yourself paper so here is point blank hoo, 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 hoo. he's dancing yeah he likes it okay uh, I actually dig this he's a fairly simple I mean you got a lot of hollow here but this is for transformation although you can you know stick your weed in it uh, anyway if you're gonna spew, spew into this. Anyway, um, I, 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 it's simple. It's, it, I feel like we're to the point where if you remember anything about the Power of the Primes, uh, Combiner Wars, Titans Return, all other transformations are almost the same at this point. Uh, this one's a little unique on a, on a I want to say a triple bend elbow, which is a, which is the only pain in the butt for me. But once you get it, it's kind of okay. That, that makes sense. So you want to start the top half first. Uh, you want to hide his head. And um, this piece comes out like this, and his head just goes in, and voila. Well, you keep that down because you need to play with other things. And um, as you see, he has these shoulders here, and this, this is where you're basically taking his arms and folding them up with a triple joint to fill in the front here and this is what gets me every time because you, you you logically you look at it and go okay yeah I see I see I see what I need to do but can I get it into place to do it and uh, I can't like I try and um, it's it it's to, for me because it's supposed to just slide easily over and for, my brain is like yeah I don't know if I want to want it to be that easy and uh, trying to get it because I was so right here we folded the elbow over folded to it basically in half then we got this piece this red piece finally to click over and what should happen is I as I close the elbow this slides over and then I can kind of almost clip it in because I have to rearrange this I, it has to be moved into a specific position uh, then to do it on the other side realizing you got to get the elbow to do what you needed to do so you can basically as you close the elbow get this piece to go like this and so it, this is the top of the car so that might help you with some orientation here and um, what you're trying to do is get the this stuff lined up so when you pull it in it completes the front of the car but before you do that you have to bring this piece back up and then it goes in between these two here and these uh, these um, shoulder joints, the screws, whatever, they go into the point here. Now this worries me a little bit because it, uh, obviously this is clear plastic and uh, you don't want to mess it up. And it, it's like a real close fit. It's like super on there and I worry about maybe a tab breaking or something. And as we see his legs flopping about uh, so flip his waist 180 degrees. Now you see there's these pieces here. Um, I don't know. I kind of just leave, leave them the way they are hanging down. 
until we get to this point because what's supposed to happen and they, they will pop out easy and that's fine because uh, it's just the way things are you're gonna pull this piece up here and um, the legs basically just fold over themselves and uh, don't put the toe down until you need to because it'll get in the way and then do the same thing on the other side now what happens here is that the, the toe has this little clip here and this little piece here and you'll line them up and you see exactly what I was saying but on the plus side you can just reattach it there we go make sure that piece is in here clip the clip there do the same thing on the other side so I can get it to clip in and voila more or less and he is a low rider but oh he's he a smooth ride like Man, that is so good. Uh, where to put him on here? Uh, good point. Don't know. It's like, is there a piece here? Guy. Eh, eh, eh. Hmm. I mean, I guess I can stick him on the side. It just looks wrong. Like, it's a sidecar. Although, I, I kind of, I'm torn on the detail. I guess the headlights are supposed to, like, pop up if it was, like, a legit car. So, I mean, that, that kind of detailing makes sense, I guess. But it's another one of those where he doesn't look like a robot from underneath. And I actually like that a lot. But, uh, yeah, that is actually pretty slick. And you could join Crosshairs now. I have a second Target Master for the Autobots. Then once I get Needle Nose, I'll have a second auto ma uh, Target Master for the Decepticons with, with my Spinister. But, yeah, that is fantastic looking. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this action figure. Did you get it and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.